fly with my kids. I'm a comic. I'm on the road 40 weeks a year, and they're not babies anymore. And so when I travel, they're not screaming. Because I remember the worst time I had my firstborn, and she, we flew from Atlanta to Los Angeles, and she screamed bloody murder from Atlanta to Los Angeles. And the woman next to me does what any woman would do, would give me dirty looks for four hours, right? You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I chose life, okay? And so, you know... <laughs> She's like, well, first of all, I would take the baby out of the overhead. <laughs> We're in a recession, okay? Going green right now. Now, I know there's some old school moms in the room. I know who you are, and you'll come up to me after the show, and they're like, you know what I do? I give the baby a little NyQuil, a little Benadryl. Where are you? Where are you, the drug dealer moms? That's right, Claire. That's right. And maybe I wouldn't do it, honey. I wouldn't drug my kids. I'm not judging you, but really, I wouldn't do it. I would do what my grandma used to do and give the baby a little Jack Daniels. Just a little. It works Christmas. But, um, you know, people are talking about moments. This has been a big year for me, a really big year. Um, 18 months, actually. I have lost 185 pounds. 185, yes. I got a divorce, and I just... I got a lighter. Because it's not funny, and I, I want to talk about it, I want to tell you all my dirty stories, but I married a comedian, and so we're fighting over the punchlines right now in court. It's not, and that's so not a joke, it's true, and it's awful, and girl, let me just be a messenger for you. Marry for old money, you guys, seriously, marry for old money. I know these guys are funny, but seriously, marry an accountant with a 401k plan. It is just, it's just sexy, it's very attractive. Like now, and I'm not even really want to date, I just want to meet a guy and be like, what's your credit score? and do you snore? Because that is all that really matters. <laughs> it's all that really matters to me. And I'm not, I don't want to go, I did the dating thing and dating online is awful. And now, at this age, I don't want to go online because you know the only guys that are going to want to date me who think I'm age appropriate are like 87 years old and they have profiles that are like, see you next Tuesday. I'm like, you're not going to live that long, Skippy. <laughs> mother from the great state of Alabama. Do I, I know I have some Southerners here, right? Southerners, you get it, all right? It's different, it's chivalrous there. It's not so liberal. And I remember California dating. I was on the first date with this guy, you guys, and the check came, right, ladies, first date. And I said, let me get that. And he let me get that, you guys. That is ghetto. That is ghetto, Pasadena. Or inappropriate if you're from La Cunada. But I'm just telling you. You don't take a girl to the movies and be like, I'll buy the tickets, you buy the popcorn. Popcorn costs $957. I just spent 400 bucks to look natural for you, okay? And they better like it on the first day, right, girls? Because that's the most effort we're ever going to put in, all right? They're like, what about your wedding? Don't you want to look good in your wedding? I'm going to get married anyway. I don't have to try on my wedding. I'm going to walk down the aisle. If the groom leaves, the best man moves over. He's holding the ring, okay? <laughs> They're all dressed alike. Somebody's getting married, Einstein, all right? <laughs> Did you guys like that joke? My ex-husband kind of wrote that punchline, but he owes me so much money in child support, so that joke was like $50,000. So I hope you, <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. It's fine now, okay. And I don't want to date you guys, because dating is all about lie, 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 and pretend you're somebody you're not, so they're married. That's all dating is, right? And don't even pretend you don't do it. All you men, and, oh, I love Bed Bath & Beyond, and I love, I love Netflix. And you women, you lie on your internet, oh, I'm passionate about water sports, I'm passionate about hiking. Who would hike? I mean, seriously, why would I hike unless I was on The Bachelorette, okay? Why? Why? <laughs> Why would I walk up a mountain and then there's no buffet up there and then you just walk all the way down? I am not passionate about that. I am passionate about watching Biggest Loser and eating ice cream, okay? That's what I'm looking That is what I'm looking for in a life partner. I just want to watch fat people work out, okay? I want to eat for them. I feel like there should be a website. 
website, right? Sensual website. That's the tail of eating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and now it's really awful. I'm getting asked out on like Instagram because that's like the cool. And I talk to my nine year old about it because it's healthy. And so um, <laughs> she's already screwed up. Both her parents are comedians. She has no future. And so I. <laughs> Mommy got asked about my dentist. She's like, you can't marry a dentist. I said, why not? She said, I'm not spending Halloween sugar free. And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh but I, I've been raised by two wonderful parents. My Alabama mother, I just got done visiting her, and she's very religious. She's very more religious. She's very, she goes to church all the time, and her choir is very special. They sing so high that only small animals can hear them. And, um, <laughs> She's always like, how great thou art. And you could hear the voice of the guy go, not so great, Barbara, not so great. <laughs> Maybe you should have gone to rehearsal instead of watching Dancing with the Stars, okay? I know, I don't want to bag on Dancing with the I know the cult, I know the cult. You guys, seriously, it is a serious drink, the Kool-Aid cult. Like 40, my mother told me Dancing with the Stars, 47 million Americans voted in the season finale of Dancing with the Stars. Oh yes, people, I know, I know what you're thinking. We just came through an election and 47 million Americans exercised their right to vote for the finale of Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> So next time we elect a president, we're going to take the top two candidates and we're going to dance it out. Okay? <laughs>